You mentioned this guy, Jeremiah Wusukormo, and this I didn't realize. He is tied for third in the NFL right now in tackles for loss, only behind Max Crosby and Danielle Hunter, um, ahead of guys like Mike Parsons, Aaron Donald. Now, it, it, interesting note, and, and I agree with uh, with Matt Wilson here as he points this out. Significance of guys like Dalvin Tomlinson, Shelby Harris, Maurice Hurst is that they are occupying blockers so that Jeremiah Usu koromoa can get in the backfield and be one of the uh, leading tacklers for loss in the NFL. All works together. Um, and again, that, that's some of the things that were not working um, against the run game against Broncos. Yeah, uh, you know, the, w one of the things that you saw, he was he was able to get into the backfield. He was able to move, and, and he's so fast because, you know, traditionally they want you to take on linebackers with your hands, shed those guys, get off blocks, and make a tackle, right? But JOK is, is a guy that's, what, 220 pounds? He's kind of a hybrid type dude between the linebacker, side linebacker and the safety. But what he's able to do is amazing in small, you know, confined spaces with making guys miss, not engaging with tackles. He could either run around the tackle and be so fast to get back underneath to make the tackle, or he could go underneath. And that's crazy. It's almost like black basketball. It's almost some people going to make you play. If you go under the screen on Steph Curry, that's a three pointer, right? Um, it's the same way with running backs. If a running back has enough speed to get to the corner and you are outside linebacker and you choose to go underneath the block, you need to have enough speed and athleticism to be able to track them down from the backside, which is very difficult to do. Um, I, I wholeheartedly agree that JOK is the beneficiary of guys holding guys up uh, and him being able to play well in space. I think he's having one of his best years. Uh, as a Cleveland Brown, and, and it makes a, a huge difference when you talk about, um, you know, disrupting people and getting those guys to the ball. However, JOK also benefits from a couple of things as well in the secondary. When you got guys like Denzel Ward who can cover up for guys and, and stick with guys, uh, you know, for more than three or four seconds, you also have Anthony Walker, who's a guy – bigger body who's a thumper the guy that's going to be really in there on those rundowns and when you got him and Taki Taki taking up some of those uh you know some of those run plays it gives him more of a freedom to run around and make plays and to take some some chances so you know this Cleveland Browns defense is is, is stellar when everything is on you got three great corners you got two linebackers that are more predicated to stop the run. You got probably one of the best defensive you know edge rushers in the game in Miles Garrett and you have defensive tackles that are, are disruptive. All of those things have to be in play. And when you start to get to the end of the season and guys are out here or there, it opens you up a little bit for some stuff because those guys on the other side of the football are going to scheme you up.